Hi guys. When I was looking through the pet section for a squeaker for my mobile stomp cannon, I found this vibrating cat toy. And I thought, I wonder if I can make a car um, power unit with that. So I'll put my stomp cannon out of the way and have a look at this fella. Because I'm guessing that there's something that spins round in there that I might be able to attach to an axle of a car. I want to break it and find I can't get it back together again. It's coming apart quite easily. So, there we are. A little weight pulled off easily enough. Have to have a look through my bits and pieces, see what we can attach to that. Had a good search through my gears and pulleys and eventually found one that I've managed to fit on there. Yes, just cut the outside of this off. I'll just clean that up. That's a bit mucky now. That looks quite nice. I think that pulley came out of a printer originally. Okay, a car. I think one of my little cardboard... Um, rubber band powered cars will be the job or something similar anyway. Well this is the car I used the other day for my CD motor fan driven car so I'll take the battery back off it I'll mount this on it I found another pulley that's a bit of a loose fit on the axle so I shall wrap some tape around the axle for that pulley to go on Wrap some tape around the back axle so that I can get that pulley on there. I'm just holding it all loosely in position. I'm not sure if it's got quite enough power to pull that pulley. That pulley might be a bit too small. I'll give it a try, but then I might have to look for something significantly bigger, because this is quite low powered. Right, I'll go and give it a test run. I think I need a bigger pulley. I don't think this has got enough power. Because it works alright with the wheels in the air, but I don't know if it'll work with the wheels on the ground. Test run time for our vibrating cat toy powered car. It was actually accelerating as it was going. Fair bit of power left. Well, that was quite fun. I better do a summary. Quick summary what have we got here? We've got 
a car powered by a vibrating cat toy. Went into the pet department of my bargain store, found this cat toy. I've cut the vibrating motor out of it, which is basically a clockwork motor. Put a pulley on it. Put a pulley on the back of one of my rubber band powered cars. And now we have a vibrating cat toy powered car. I was going to say rubber band powered car, but obviously it's no longer rubber band powered. But I like that. <laughs>